Hello everyone, this is Ashwari Srivastava from Hot Wax Commerce and in this video series we are going to discuss how View Storefront uses local storage uh, using Vuex. So View Storefront uh, uh, uses two primary data sources. One is data stored in the browser and other is server data sources via View Storefront API. So in this series of video we uh, will be covering the local storage in the browser using uh, Vuex store. Uh, we can access local forage repository through store manager object anywhere in the code but view store front uh, uh, suggests that all data related operations should be placed in Vuex stores. Let's see this example VSF has provided in these docs. Here are uh, they here they have taken example from checkout and this is the index.ts file. Basically, uh, states are uh, usually defined in index.ts in VSF. So they have imported the Vuex module, actions, getter, mutations, and they have uh, constructed the checkout state here. And in this state, they have orders, payment method, shipping method, personal details, like in this format, uh, in this structure, personal detail, then shipping details in this structure, first name, last name, country, then payment details, uh, and some checks. And this is the structure, and the data will be here and finally they have getter action mutations so basically the parts of store have been separated into several files like action mutations getters parts are assembled here and exported as a module so this is kind of example here now let's check out the actual code and see it in directory structure how vsf uses vuex to work with local storage so the core module generally contains store folder inside the VSF core module is itself nothing more than a Vuex module as VSF states in their official document so let's see the code now this is the module and uh, we can see number of modules here this is the checkout uh, module we saw the example from checkout module just now let's search for the product module it should be in the under catalog this is store folder this is the product folder and here is the index.ts file so let's see how they have structured the state of product Similarly, f here they have imported the actions, getter, root state, the product state. They have defined this product state here. This is the state. And here we have breadcrumbs inside which we have routes, names. Then we have current, current options, parent, list. This is the state of product. Similarly, we have getters, action, mutations and we have packed this whole module as a product state so in this video we have got the basic idea how states are defined in VSF further in the series we will look into each state each and every states which are defined here uh, in details so thanks for watching see you in the next video